Now here, we have some missing digit long multiplication problems. And the way to solve these is to work through the problems in the same steps that we use for long multiplication. So we start by multiplying our ones digits, but we have two times something equals four. Now you might think two times two is four, so this answer box has to be a two. But remember, with long multiplication, only the ones digit is written in the answer line, and if there's a tens digit, that's written above. So we could have multiplied two by something to get a ones digit of four. So we could have done two times seven is 14, and then carried the one. So is this missing box two or seven? Well, what we can do is just try it out and then see if it works for the rest of the question. So for now, let's write a two in this box. Two times two is four, but then the next calculation we would do is one times two, and one times two is not eight. So we know that this box isn't a two, so that means it must be a seven. They must have done two times seven to get 14, and then written the one above the next place value column along. Because now, one times seven is seven, and if we add the one on top, we get eight. So that fits with the rest of the question. Now, four times seven is 28, so that's two, eight. And now, for this box, we have something times seven plus two is 58. So before they added the two, they must have done something times seven to get 56. We know that eight times seven is 56 because 56 divided by seven is eight. So this box here must be an eight. Eight times seven is 56 plus two is 58. So now we cross out our working and there's a zero as the last digit of our second answer line. Now two times eight is 16, so that's one, six. One times eight is eight, plus one is nine. Four times eight is 32, so that's three, two. Eight times eight is 64, plus three is 67. So now four plus zero is four. Eight plus six is 14, so one, four. One plus eight plus nine is 18, so one, eight. One plus eight plus two is 11, so one, one. One plus five plus seven is 13, so one, three. One plus six is seven. So we have a long multiplication that works. And notice we were following the same steps as if we were solving a long multiplication problem. And it's important because here, if we hadn't have done the addition, we wouldn't have written this one above, so we might have got this box here wrong. So now, eight times two is 16, so one, six. One times two is two, plus one is three. Five times two is 10, so that's one, zero. And now we have something times two plus one is 13. So before they added the one, they must have done something times two to get 12, and we know that six times two is 12, so six must be our missing digit. Six times two is 12, plus one is 13. Now we can cross out our working, and we know that the last digit of a second answer line is always a zero. But now we have eight times something, and we have a two in our answer line. Now, they might have done eight times four to get 32, because that ends in a two, and perhaps they carried the three, or they might have done eight times nine to get 72, which also ends in a two, and then they might have carried seven. Now to see what they did, let's just try something out. So if they did eight times four, they would have got 32, so that's three, two. Then the next calculation would be one times four, but then adding the three on top would give seven. And that's what we have here. So we know that they must have done eight times four to get 32 and then carried the three. Now, five times four is 20, so that's two, zero. And now six times four is 24, 
plus 2 is 26. Now adding up our answer lines, 6 plus 0 is 6, 3 plus 2 is 5, 0 plus 7 is 7, and now to check that we've not made any mistakes, let's just keep going. 3 plus 0 is 3, 1 plus 6 is 7, and nothing plus 2 is 2. Now here we have 6 times something, and we have an 8 as the last digit of our answer. They might have done 6 times 3 to get 18, and then carried the 1, or they might have done 6 times 8 to get 48, and then carried the 4. So let's just try one of these out. If they did 6 times 3, that would have been 18, so 1, 8. But then the next calculation would have been to do 0 times 3, which is 0, and then add 1, which is 1. But we have a 4 in our answer line. So we know that they haven't done 6 times 3. Let's try 6 times 8. That's 48, so 4, 8. And then we would have 0 times 8 is 0, plus 4 is 4. We know that this digit must have been 6 times 8 to get 48, so must have been an 8. Now 1 times 8 is 8, and something times 8 is 56. Well that's 7 times 8, because 56 divided by 8 is 7. So now we can cross out our working, and we know that at the end of our second answer line, we always have a 0. Now 6 times 5 is 30, so 3, 0. 0 times 5 is 0, plus 3 is 3. 1 times 5 is 5, and 7 times 5 is 35. So if we add up our answer lines, 8 plus 0 is 8, 4 plus 0 is 4, 8 plus 3 is 11, so 1, 1, 1 plus 6 plus 5 is 12, so 1, 2, 1 plus 5 plus 5 is 11, so 1, 1, and 1 plus 3 is 4.